Dear colleagues, thank you very much to invite me to join your annual conference. It's an honor and my pleasure to join you, although unfortunately we cannot meet in person. I'm sending to you this record keynote and I wish you a successful conference, uh, my always appreciated uh, Hungarian colleagues. Many thanks to my dear Agnes, my dear friend, that I hope we will have the opportunity to see each other very soon and to work together again as we did in the past. So um, I'm just introducing you my presentation. Uh, your theme of your conference is Life is Serving Generations. And I thought that it was a good idea after my thought uh, of um, during the pandemic and lockdown that we really have to move libraries to get as uh, soon as possible our sustainability, our sustainable development. So let's start. Um, uh, I'm just uh, telling you my, my thoughts are in, in, in a summary that they are just my talking points like our main problem at the library field during the first lockdown. The situation in Spain, uh, that is my, my environment, what I'm seeing, what I'm looking at around me, so it's easier to understand the situation, even globally, because the challenges are global. Um, the, 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 the challenges we have to face, looking for solutions, and a library's opportunities um, to tackle, uh, the way that we will um, we can change the, the way we are working, especially after this uh, absolutely new world that we are living. And then the, the, uh, some conclusion remarks that, in my point of view, can, be, can help as opportunities. Um, our main problem of the library field during this first lockdown uh, was that this terrible health pandemic is showing us how much isolated we can be in our homes if we do not have internet connection. However, this is just the beginning of our problems. Um, I would like to split in a way my considerations address grosso modo uh, to, into two levels of needs. First, regarding general society who need to get connected and get meaningful access to information in order to cope with usual things to develop their own lives, mainly citizens served by the public library services. And um, second, secondly, there is uh, another group regarding uh, libraries and information field. This is an important group of people that need connection and data to the day-to-day -day work, the researchers, information facilitators, data oh. managers, research uh, software engineers, infrastructure support professionals, edu educators, data curators, data assistants, research library librarians, and as well, policy promoters among other professionals. On my view, both groups need urgently to drive our libraries to work on digital skills. And uh, at this point, um, my questions are, are general population trained in getting into digital information to develop their normal life? And second, can expert and specialized professionals getting the best of the information sources to develop their own careers, research, and creation of knowledge? Let's um, see a bit deeper. Uh, I told you that uh, I'm, I'm from Barcelona, I'm living in Spain. So in Spain, um, in, since March 2020 till June 2020, Libraries, schools, and universities went locked down during more than 90 days. No libraries, no book, uh, bookshops opened, 
not access to information, not culture, events and activities. Um, a terrible situation, let me say, that made worse the situation of the health and economic crisis because it was nothing for people. After this post-pandemic lockdown time, in Spain, we started working in public policies as first step to start solving the lack of connection. Although they, were, um, they are full of experiences uh, of new services provided by librarians via their websites and social media networks from their own home um, to the library's users, um, our statistics, our results showed how difficult it was to provide a normal library service to all citizens. The only way to connect to the library was by internet. Academic libraries, fortunately, provided access through their own virtual libraries and it was easy for them in a way. In addition, uh, a Biblio, that is the electronic books platform of Spain that provides e-lending, also by public libraries, uses card, was a great help. Therefore, apparently, public libraries and academic libraries, they were covered by their own services. But uh, very soon, uh, academic libraries, but also uh, public libraries networks realize that uh, although the, 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 the in, um, digital services are really high, high estimated, they saw that um, they were a, a part, a target of population, they, they could not achieve these um, digital libraries or uh, digital ebooks platform. Why? Because uh, Unfortunately, um, in Spain and I think in other many countries, um, um, there is not a universal access to internet. The 18% of Spanish homes, they don't have uh, any source of access to internet. It means that these people don't have even a smartphone providing that access as well. We knew from several sources that homes without connection, internet connection, were suffering digital divide. And this gave us an important matter of advocacy to tackle from the library field um, right now. Spain, um, as a major part of the world, does not have internet connection, uh, as I told you, as a public universal system like electricity, gas and water systems networks. Again, an important question as to ourselves. Um, how can libraries help as facilitators of connection out of their own walls, out of their own buildings? If the library remains closed physically, how can provide access to information for all, to everybody? <sighs> Difficult. Barcelona's libraries studied a way to serve connection borrowing smart devices last year. However, to accomplish successfully these services, libraries should to be open with the alone service on several hours per day and in several districts to facilitate access to the population. So to cover this um, kind of service, to, to loan, to borrow um, um, devices, is not as easy as it was uh, thought at the very beginning of the design of this new service. In Europe, working to find out global solutions, in July 2020, the European Council met with an extraordinary character to face the challenges of historic proportions posed by the COVID-19 uh, crisis. Among the proposed measures, Europe's digital transition was pointed out as one of the keys to recovery 
and for this, among the large lines of financing approved, at least two related to these transformations can be identified. One related to the single market innovation and digital economy, and another of co cohesion, resilience, and values. Um, under these guidelines, in October 2020, the government of Spain released the Recovery, Transformation and Resilience Plan. Spain can. And as a state framework to overcome the social and economic crisis caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and enable inclusive development and sustainable for Spain during the current decades, decade. Spain can maintain the digital transformation as a key element of recovery by specifically dedicating, devoting one of its four guidelines to achieve a digital Spain. This transformation can also be linked across its other three guidelines. Uh, Green Spain, Spain without gender, gender gaps, and Spain cohesive and inclusive. If we speak specifically about digital skills, the plan proposes 10 level policies for a structural transformation and at least three of them concerned to library work, education and knowledge, continuous training and capacity development, in which stands out specifically measures at the now approved national plan for digital capabilities, urban and rural agenda, and fight against the population and modernization of modernization of a public administration. You can see how close to some sustainable development goals are these goals to achieve uh, development aligned with the UN 2030 agenda. In connection with these guidelines, the digital competences of all citizens had already highlighted in a progress documental published last summer. The plan España Digital 2020, Digital Spain 2025. Um, this uh, is a, a governmental agenda and emphasized the need to close the new gaps of social inequality due to the lack of access of use of the internet because the digital gap, gap of access and capacity to use networks increasingly acts as a vector for a new cause of social exclusion, specifically affecting to those most vulnerable groups. For this reason, the Spain Digital Plan 2025 also mentioned among its measures the National Digital Competences Plan, encompassing the general objective of improving the basic digital skills of citizens and closing gaps between groups, so that citizens can um, learn, can communicate, can really fully be on the digital age, uh, also carry out transitions, interact with public administration, with a special emphasis on training those groups that uh, find it more difficult to acquire these skills. I mean, elderly people, retired people, people with low income level, poor people, uh, people living in a non-urban areas, among others. With the ambitious goal of training 15 million people in basic skills. Therefore, here we go, a great opportunity for libraries to work on this ambitious proposal. Uh, yeah, this is an opportunity, my dear colleagues. Librarians' strategy, our strategy, have to consider digital skills because we have to stand on the hypothesis that without data culture, there is not useful infrastructure. 
So it's important to create and, and to promote this data culture. In fact, our priorities to serve the second group, as I mentioned you at the beginning of, part of my speech, was focused on developing the next gen generation of open science and data professionals. Academic libraries should collaborate to improve digital skills for data and open science. It means to build up a safe and a long-lasting knowledge node for training in the field that influences national policies. If this is the horizon, the starting point to the general lack of experience in open science and data use, and of course, face the challenges that are derived from intellectual property and ethics in data management and are absolutely outstanding elements, as worrying is the lack of learning about data management. This weakness reinforces the lack of a clear definition of the professional profiles that can contribute to this goal and on the fragmentation of training resources without a global national plan. In the development of the new generation open science professionals, teamwork claims to generate greater results that can a um, sum of its members, academic libraries serving research centers, um, are required to have a diverse vision of jobs and the training needs of a staff, which should be articulated in four areas of activity, software development, data understanding, research production and research of each specific discipline. In addition, allow me to tell you again, because it's connected with the, the first group of people that I identified at the beginning, contribution to the general public or to understanding in the sense of citizenship, able to get meaningful access to information, meaningful information that means something for them, not just um, uh, information that is not understandable, it's, 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 very, it's very high level, so we have also to consider this contribution. In my point of view, these considerations require a descriptive list of profiles, examples of situations where actions will be required and necessary skills. Those researchers, information facilitators, data managers, research software engineers, infrastructure support professionals, information educators, data curators, data assistants, library, um, and, um, librarians of data, and of course, policy promoters and citizens. An important profile named data librarian as an expert in data preparation and processing, including selection, storage, preservation, and tracing, and other maintenance, as well as dissemination, of course. I mean experts in research data management, who, are, uh, who use research data as a resource to support research staff in their data management, like description, archiving, and dissemination. The required competences point uh, to the advanced understanding uh, uh, have to consider the ability to use information service to uh, unload and preserve data, the ability as well to contribute uh, to infrastructure development, the ability to validate information and invalidate fake news, fake information, and the ability to advise researchers and students on research data management, including its discovery and reuse of existing data sets. Collaboration, of course, to improve digital skills in Europe begins with the figure of competences centers that is comprehensive training notes for the acquisition of these skills. 
the organization at regional level is required to focus the creation of a federated, secure and long-lasting ecosystem that acts as the learning node, the format of a specific recommendations for each type of library, um, for each type of library needs, regulations, and of course, uh, to find uh, funding that, that should foresee investment to create these repositories, universities, and research, research, research centers. This is the, the, the summary what I'm, I'm telling you. But uh, today, more than ever, libraries have to build up their offer widely, looking further to their collections, of course, and traditional services, because we, um, our users, are share. We are sharing users. A user of a public library can be a user of an academic library and and the other side, the very same, and library's commitment to information social, social needs, providing training on digital skills and spaces of discussion to uh, increase critical thinking and behavior are going to be essential to contribute sustainable development. Moreover, working together close to the researchers and contribute to build up knowledge. This is the, the main point. And um, in my opinion, and of course it's a personal opinion, there are only a way to survive and fully appreciate our libraries. This is to answer the social demands on access to information as a whole. Libraries with social commitment. This is what we need all kind of libraries, all type of libraries, with this important social commitment to answer the questions, to answer the requirements that society in as a whole need. Uh, we have to see our work as a holistic service. So this is the main point. We have really to to, to work in a context, in a, our own context, and see what is happening around us to design and to serve our users. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you will uh, enjoy these days. I wish you all the very best and that you have a very interesting conference. Bye-bye.